Hey everybody, it's Mr. Schwartz. I hope everybody had a nice Memorial Day and that you got a chance to maybe get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. Um, today what I have for you is some more about President Gerald Ford, something that you may not be that aware of, which is Gerald Ford's response to the Vietnamese refugee crisis. So, what I have for you today is not a whole lot. I just want you to watch this video, which is going to be very brief, and then I want you to watch the five minute excerpt from the video that I have linked, and then I want you to complete the exit slip and email it to me. So, let's go back to before Gerald Ford was president. January 1973, this was still the Nixon administration. Nixon signs the Paris Peace Accords, negotiated by Henry Kissinger, if you remember, which agreed to withdraw U.S. troops from Vietnam. It was essentially a peace treaty, but nobody really followed it, and the North and the South Vietnamese armies continued fighting on and off. Um, about a year and a half later, August of 1974, is when Nixon finally resigns and Gerald Ford takes over as president. Just a few months later, January 1975, so this is just two years after the Paris Peace Accords, President Ford makes a statement ruling out any further U.S. military involvement in Vietnam, and then the North Vietnamese Army starts to make incursions into the South. And eventually, this leads to the fall of Saigon. This is a link to a pretty cool documentary about Gerald Ford and his life and his presidency. The whole thing is an hour long, and maybe you'll enjoy it. I'm not requiring you to watch the whole thing. We may actually come back to it later on in the week. But if you have an hour, if you're interested in this sort of thing, then maybe take a look. There's some really cool old footage that's been restored and remastered. Um, some kind of behind the scenes, rarely seen stuff. So... It's kind of like uh, if anyone's been watching The Last Dance about Michael Jordan and the Bulls, this is kind of like The Last Dance about Gerald Ford. So check it out if you have an hour. If you don't have an hour and you only have just under five minutes, then start the video at 41.35 and watch until about 46 minutes. This is a segment about Vietnam and the Vietnamese refugee crisis that ensued after the fall of Saigon. You should be able to click on the link right here through, um, actually you're going to be watching a video. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll just attach, I'll just post this link in an email that I'm going to send you. That's what I'm going to do. You don't need these PowerPoint slides. There's not much here, really. I'll post the link to the video as well as these instructions. Um, and then here's the exit slip that I want you to complete. I want you to pay attention during the video, and I want you to let me know what Gerald Ford actually did in response to the Vietnamese refugee crisis. Specifically, who did he form a coalition with? The video talks about four or five different, different groups of people that you might not think necessarily would work together that he formed a coalition with. And I want you to identify two concrete ways they helped refugees. Um, that's that's one part of the exit slip. The second question, I want you to think about this. Ford in this documentary, not the segment you watched, but in the documentary, Ford is described as a president who demonstrates moral courage, meaning he does what he thinks is, is the right thing to do for the good of the country, for the good of the people, even if it might not be popular, even if it might cost him personally, like, for example, costing him 
re-election by pardoning Richard Nixon because he believed that the country needed healing. Um, what I want you to do is think about another example that you know of, of somebody demonstrating moral courage. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the type of person who stands up and uses your voice to speak out when you see something that you think is wrong. Or it can be somebody that you know about, something from your own life that it didn't happen directly to you. Or it can just be something else that you're aware of, like, for example, you know, Gerald Ford or like something a president did or something that somebody of somebody who is known did something. Okay. So from here, I want you to go watch this segment about Gerald Ford's response to the Vietnamese refugee crisis starting at 41.35, and then email me your exit. You can write it as a Google Doc or a Word Doc, send me a link, send me an attachment. You can write your response just in the body of an email. You can write in a journal or in a notebook and take a photo and send it to me. But if you do that, please, First of all, make sure your writing is legible and make sure the photo is clear too. So I'm totally fine with that, but I just got to be able to, to read it. All right. Um, I appreciate all your responses to the I'm a Ford, not a Lincoln. Um, I want to give more people a chance to uh, respond before I let you know a little bit more about what, what he may have meant by that quote. Okay. I look forward to seeing everybody. Hopefully in person in the google meets you got to check in we got to see your face mr mr demo and i uh need to make sure that you're engaged and engaging and participating so that you get the credit for all the work you've done so far all right hang in there everybody and i'll see you soon take care